So today, it's gonna be a special day. We are at the club at Bond Head. Thirty-six whole facility, two different courses. So, gentlemen, welcome to uh, the uh, the North Course at the Club at Bondhead. It's a pleasure to have you. You guys picked the perfect day today. It's amazing. Weather is perfect. Uh, if this is your first trip to the North Course, you're uh, you're in for a treat. We got two, two probably of the nicest back-to-back -back properties uh, in the region for sure, and, and both golf courses are are very unique. Glad to enjoy your round out there, guys. Thank you very much. All right, we'll tell you how it goes. Sounds good. All right, hole number one, 364 yards, gonna hit driver, here we go. Alright, bit of a disaster right out of the gate. Can't find my ball. I uh, don't know the course, so I thought maybe it opened up. Doesn't. So I took a drop um, and I've got about 148 in to the pin. So I hit an 8 iron. Rough start. That was a good par. All right, so I have 95 yards and I'm torn because that that's like an A wedge is if I hit it well, 100, but I am coming out of rough. I guess I'll go up a club with this rough. I don't know what's gonna happen. So I guess I'll hit the pitching wedge, but I don't feel great about it. I'm gonna follow the pro's advice though. That was nasty. It didn't come out at all. So here's my ball. That's fun. Oh. I don't like double doubles at Tim Hortons and I don't like them here. Not the start I wanted by any means, but it's the kind of day uh, that you're just happy to be outside anyway. So beautiful. Uh, really just going to try to forget about the score as much as I can and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day on this amazingly picturesque golf course. Uh, another bonus of playing out here at Bondhead, you can kind of enjoy it even if things don't go your way at the start, which they might because it's kind of tricky. Uh, short par three coming up here. Maybe I can put it on and uh, make something happen. I am not doing myself any favors. Watch out, Mike. So I'm confused. I had 117 
to the flag, uphill into the wind. I decided to stay with my pitching wedge, worried that I was gonna be a little short. I'm 21 yards past the flag. So, I mean, that's 138 pitching wedge, uphill into the wind. I'm, I just don't get it. That's not me, but it was for this shot. All right. So I found my ball, I have no shot other than just to punch out here on the fairway. So I'm just gonna to try to hit it out kind of like 30, 40, 50 yards. Oh, get it, get it, oh. It listened. So another double bogey, just not hitting very many good shots right now and things aren't going my way. But again, still beautiful and uh, we've got a really interesting hole coming up here. What hole is this, Mike? Hole six, hole six uh, all uphill, massively uphill. It's gonna be a fun one. It is, uh, I don't know how high of a climb it is. It's, it's pretty majestic though. See. So See it here, just all the way uphill. Need a good tee shot, obviously. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that is ugly. Oh, that's, yeah. Oh, that's not what you want to do. Mike seems to have a bit of a situation here. Uh, his drive wasn't his best of the day. And so we're gonna go take a look. Oh, it looks like maybe he's already dropped. I have no idea where that went. All right, I followed my caddy's advice and uh, ended up on the green and I think I would have gone long. So thank you, Mr. Michael Najati. Appreciate that. There he is right over there, folks. Look at that. I, I don't even know what to say. I just put it on in two, had a birdie putt. How many putts did I take there? Four, five, four, five, yeah. triple? One, two, three, four, five. Five, five putts. Five putt from 24 feet. <laughs> I guess it's safe to say today is not my day. Five putt from 24 feet. Wow. What do you think, Mike? That was good. That was a good performance. I gave it to you. Just for the record, I did give you a five. You didn't want to take it. All right, I've got about eight feet. So I'm thinking four putts from here. <laughs> wow. All right, I didn't think I was in that much trouble. I thought it was okay, but again, not knowing the course, I see now that it probably is gone. And so 
I'm dropping a shot here, which is disappointing because I didn't miss that drive by too much. Run it up. So at least here, I ended up pin high. So little victories. Little victories are something, right? All right, that's about 20 feet. So last year, at the end of last year, Mike and I were golfing and we got paired up with a two, uh, couple old gentlemen and uh, they were great guys and the, but the one gentleman was taking his golf game very seriously and he was quite old too so i would hope that at that age i'm not taking golf overly serious uh but he was struggling out there and on the 10th hole he was swearing like a sailor i'm not going to repeat what he's uh what he said because it's a family show here uh but he put a nice descriptive word in there and he said I should just quit and eat sausage and he did on the next hole he uh he stopped playing he ordered a sausage and he ate and uh I don't know comment below like should I just quit and eat sausage at this point point? and what do you do when you're playing as poorly maybe you never have maybe you've never five putted before it's hard to say uh but when you struggle what do you do comment below because i don't know what to do right now other than the fact that this is a fun looking course i'm enjoying being here regardless so uh you see me looking around here i'm just enjoying the sights but what but what do you do so go ahead leave a comment and uh and tell us answer one or both of those questions what do you think mike should i quit and eat sausage I like what you want to do. <laughs> All right, I have 171, I actually found the fairway, so there's a plus. Um, I'm gonna hit a seven iron. Really dangerous to go long here. Um, a bit of a drop off on the back, so try to find my way onto the green. So really strange, pretty wide open over here and I can't find my ball at all. It's, could I guess it went into this kind of stuff behind but I don't know it's pretty far left I thought I would have found it in this open space but I guess not A little behind the scenes moment for you as we film this part of as we plan this out mike was going to do like a 
kind of run up to the greens and get shots coming in, different angles and things like that. And he has. I mean, I, hopefully in the editing we can use some of it, which is good. But recently I've noticed he stopped doing that and he's more just into like the self-interviews now. So I know he's doing a lot of that. Um, I just can't get enough of this face. <laughs> Me. It's hard to find good help. Listen, this it's... game has been so frustrating. <laughs> it's been so frustrating. I'm rattled. If you're still watching at this point, 12th hole, you've watched the whole thing, I will give you a thumbs up. I don't know how. You know what? Free Golf Quest Mulligan for you if you're still watching. I'll put it somehow in the link below. You've earned it. If you've watched this far, Golf Quest rules! Nice shot. Nice. <laughs> that's, see what, that's all you needed. Ah. Alright, I have a look at Birdie. Now, the last time I had a look at Birdie, I had 24 feet and I five putted. Now it's going. It's absolutely awful. <laughs> oh, and that barely went in. Oh, yeah! Run, baby, run. So I got 90 yards left after that drive. Uh, whole set, it played 386. I think it was in approximately the right location. It's a pretty good drive there. Uh, hopefully I can hit it on with my sandwich. And we're on. Well, it would have been nice to make the birdie, but second par of the day. Second par of the day. <laughs> oh my goodness, what an awful swing. Way short, too. We are coming up on 17 here, just waiting for the group in front of us on the fairway. Beautiful golf hole. Got to hit it kind of over a bit of a valley, onto the fairway, all uphill, big par five. Looks like it's gonna be a tough hole. You got it to the fairway. <laughs> ah. 
that was pretty. So after all that, I hit my ball out, didn't advance it very far, hit my ball out again, I apparently couldn't advance it, now it's lost, so I have to drop, and what a disaster to finish. So this is hole 18, Jay's lining up for his putt, but a 15 footer. Okay, so that one is over. I wanted a strong finish, unfortunately didn't get it. Drove it into the junk, took a couple shots to get out. Never really did actually, and then had to drop. And two putt for a seven, triple bogey to finish. Not the way you want to finish, but a 95. So I guess only you can get better from here, right? I've, I'm getting pretty tired too. I gotta to tell you, for anyone who hasn't done this, and I know a lot of people have not, this is exhausting. Carrying around <laughs> and filming yourself. Isn't it, Michael? Oh, sure is. <laughs> I'm spent. <laughs> but beautiful golf course. If you want a challenge and you want some elevation and some great scenery, highly recommend it. Bond Head, the north course, and I heard the south course is even rated higher. It's a link style. Uh, so I encourage you to check it out if you're in the area. Um, thanks for watching, especially for those who made it right to the end. Your troopers really appreciate the support, and we'll see you next time on Golf Quest.